Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Friday, November 24th, 2023, the Memorial of St. Andrew Dunlach. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Donglock and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Grant, through their intercession, that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 19, verses 45 through 48. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Jesus' actions in the temple in today's gospel are a reminder of the reverence due to God in places that are dedicated to worship. The temple had been constructed and dedicated as a house of prayer, but it had been diminished to a marketplace. We can mirror this as a warning for our own spiritual lives because our bodies are temples. The danger of allowing secular concerns and worldly attitudes to overshadow our devotion and our commitment to God. St. Teresa of Avila once said, Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. This quote reminds us that the commotion and trade in the temple are symbolic of the transient, often distracting concerns in our daily lives. Teresa's words invite us to find solace and constancy in God amidst life's turmoil. In cleansing the temple, Jesus is not only reforming a physical space, but also calling for a reformation of the heart, a shift from the temporary to the eternal, from disturbance to peace. Moreover, the cleansing of the temple can be seen as an invitation to examine our own temples, our own bodies, our hearts, and our minds. Are they filled with distractions and worldly preoccupations, or are they spaces where God's presence is revered and His voice can truly be heard? This passage challenges us to create in our own hearts a sanctuary of prayer, peace, and sincere devotion. So as we reflect on this passage today, let's be inspired to cleanse our own temples, to prioritize our spiritual commitments, and to foster a deep and genuine relationship with our God. In doing so, we can find the unchanging peace that St. Teresa of Avila speaks of, a peace that comes from a life that is centered on God, undisturbed by the passing distractions of this world. And so today, let's pray and remember that God, the eternal and unchanging force in our life, wants us to clear away the clutter and make room for Him. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.